Hi, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to make a pair of angel wing uh, earrings. What you'll need is you'll need four of these angel wings. I only have two out at the moment. Yes, you're going to need four of these angel wings. Okay, you can use these little silver balls if you uh, wish. They're not a necessity for the part, I just like to use them. They're a little bit of a little bit extra you can just throw on there. Okay, you're going to need two six centimeter or sixty millimeter silver plated head pins. Two four point connectors, two beads, you can use almost any bead. Um, these are any, an 8mm bead. Um, it'll work with nearly any size bead, but the bigger the bead, uh, it'll probably start to look a bit funny if you go too big. And then your earring hooks. Okay, uh, you'll also need a few jump rings. Just get them out real quick. Once again, you can nearly use any size jump ring, but the smaller the better. A bit a three, four millimeter jump ring would work for this the best, I'd say. There's a few there. We need, we need four. Okay. Okay, so step one is you're going to hang your. I'm just going to move all this stuff to one side for a second. Okay. So step one, you need one of these and your two wings. Okay. need to attach the wings with the jump ring facing each other like so Just, uh, okay. If, okay and if you don't already know a jump ring always open it to the side like that okay never open it against the curve or you'll you'll, you'll never bend it back in the same the same nice smooth curve that it's already in okay so you want to attach two angel wings okay, one on each side facing each other like Like so. Okay. Okay, your next next thing to do is take your six centimeter, sixty millimeter head pin. If you are going to use the little silver balls, what I do is I put one of them on first. Then put your, your bead and then a second. So you have one on top and one on the bottom, like so. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you want to take this and leave it so. Okay. You're going to want the, the bead to sit just under the wings. Okay, so. You know that, that that there is about your your length that you need, but that's after the hoop. So what you want to do is maybe about the length of your thumb, a little bit less than the length of your thumb. Okay. So that's how much 
sure I'm gonna end up cutting off. Okay. So you take your cutters. Take your cutters and just snip off. Okay. Now I would give you exact measurements only. It's gonna all be different based on whether or not you use these silver balls or whether you use uh, an eight millimeter, or ten millimeter. It's like the different size beads. Uh, the bigger the bead, the less you're gonna end up cutting off. Okay. So then you just wanna you take your round nose pliers and make yourself a nice loop on the top, like so. Okay. I like when you make the loop to like bend the back a little so that the, the loop actually sits right on top of the um, the stem of the head pin. That way, it doesn't sit to one side. Okay, so now you're gonna take your loop and, like before, open it to one side. center piece center the bottom loop okay so now we have let's see all right and now I figure I've measured that wrong because this is good because then I get to show you you know what you need to do now okay that's that's gonna be too long. So what you wanna do is you take this back off. And you just kinda of have to use your judgment, but I reckon if you cut off the, the loop about here that that'll remove enough uh the head pin to uh, to make the difference. Okay, so then take your round nose pliers and bend with the the way that the uh, head pin was already bent. So you want to build your loop and come back again. Okay. And let's try it again. Just gonna hang it on here. Okay, and that's gonna be a lot better now. I'll show you clearly now in a second here. Okay. Lie this down here. It's not easy to get this to lie right. Lying down flat. This is the kind of earring that looks great hanging, but sometimes it's hard to make it look good when it's lying down flat. There we go. Okay, so that's the hardest part over. Then you literally just uh, open up your earring hook. Yeah, you know, open up your loop on the bottom of the earring. Yeah, same as before to the side. Okay. And there's my daughter. Now I can make a video without uh, getting her voice heard. Okay, so you just do this. That there. Okay. And you got your earring hook on. And the last step is a piece I actually forgot to in the first place, but it's not an essential piece. It's just uh, the rubber earring back. Okay. Let's see if I can get 
this system, right? Just to, uh, It's hard to get it to sit right when it's flat, but it looks great when it's hanging. Okay, so that's it. Um, you just repeat the process for the second earring, obviously, and you're done. Okay, if you're watching this on YouTube, the links to purchase these supplies will be in the um, description underneath, and if you're watching this on our blog, we'll put uh, some links there as well for you to uh, to purchase these products. Thank you for watching.